Hi everybody, my name's Caitlin and welcome to Sex to Suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today I'm very excited. I've decided to go ahead and give you all a tour of my succulent house. I have succulents all over and I hope you enjoy. So right here we are looking at my mother's Christmas cactus. So this Christmas cactus has just finished blooming. It is such a beautiful, huge Christmas cactus. It's my, um, my little profile picture for YouTube. Um, it blooms a beautiful hot pink flower that's so gorgeous and um, it's survived, gosh, I think it's about in 20, 20 or so years old. So it's kind of neat that uh, she passed it down to me and it's corking. If you come closer, uh, you can tell that, you know, it's corking inside. I don't know, can you see the dark, um, can you see the brown and the tan colors? That is called um, corking. That means it's an old, an old Betty. Okay, next I am going to show you my little rap, rapsalius and it's just, uh, you know, also an epiphyte. So a Christmas cactus are epiphytes and these are epiphytes. That means that they grow kind of in the rainforest and they grow off trees. So usually you see uh, rapsaliuses and um, epiphytic Christmas cactus and things like that, they will grow off trees in the wild. So this one has grown. I, I bought this, it was about half the size last year and now it's kind of grown and I really love it. I think it's pretty. Okay, next we can go right over here and we can look at this cute little guy. This is a, I believe it is a cacti, some sort of cacti. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but I will put in the description what it is. It has fiery red and yellow and orange pieces, just kind of leaves just kind of coming out and it's really gorgeous. So, and let's go and move on to over here. So if we go right over here, this is kind of like my, <laughs> those are my doggies, Joey and Dottie. <laughs> so if we come on over here, we can see, go ahead and see my, some of my cacti collection. This is my uh, Chola cactus right here. It's just, you know, they're coming out of dormancy right now. It's becoming to be spring, not here in Northern Nevada. It's kind of like slowly getting there. But this is my Mexican fence post. And this is a uh, mammalaria. It bloomed just a little while ago. Another mammalaria. And if you come closer, you'll see that it's um, blooming right here. Hot pink flowers, gorgeous. And this is um, yeah, it's gorgeous. And this is one of my beautiful, I believe it's a domino cactus. It's really pretty. I got this at, well, during my Ikea visit, if you saw my Ikea visit right here. And this is my Joseph's coat of many colors cacti. It's kind of neat. It has a variegation of yellow and green, white, and the flowers are kind of like light pink. Very pretty. This is one of my, I believe, and don't quote me on this, and whoever sees it and knows it, please comment. But I believe it's one of my, um, it's a rat tail cactus. So um, yeah, it's, it's really cute, pretty. It's, and then this one's a mammalaria. I love it because this is a two-headed one. So I love freakishly weird types of things, so I like, and this is one of my just I don't know please I'm so sorry but this is my one of my cacti it has several babies forming on the the base of it it's very pretty this is also I believe a mammalaria and it's very beautiful it's kind of growing in a weird um, 
way, but I love it. This was outside in my garden, but I brought it inside because it needed warmth. Okay, so let's move on. So this is, I believe, an Apuntia right here. And like I said, they're a little dehydrated because it's the winter slash coming into spring. And I haven't watered these guys yet because I'm going to be putting them outside as soon as the last frost occurs here in Northern Nevada. So that won't be for like a whole another month or, or even two months, so. And then this is a, a beautiful, I believe it's some sort of crest type thing. I don't know, monstrous, I'm sorry. It's a monstrous of some sorts, this one. As we move around to over here, we're gonna see just um, a bromeliad. I believe this is a bromeliad. It's, I bought it on sale from Lowe's and it's, yeah. So this is also a Christmas cactus. It's a little dehydrated. I'm gonna water this one, but it's so funny because the buds, they keep kind of budding and then they're falling off. So it's okay. It's not really ready to bloom, but it definitely needs some more water. And these types of cacti, they love um, moist soil. So I would make sure that every couple of weeks they look okay. And this is one of my little uh, asparagus ferns and it's doing pretty well. It's, and then this is, right over here, is my mother-in-law's tongue. And I got it on sale, I believe, at Walmart last year, and it's doing pretty well, I would say so. So, um, yeah, this one also likes water occasionally here and there um, to be moist, but not too moist. And it's also called a snake plant. Okay, let's go this way. Right here is one of my most beloved cacti. My husband got this for me uh, last year. And it's beautiful and I love it so much. I got this at Cactus Limon and I'm not quite sure of the name, but it has two little pups growing on the sides. But this is my, obviously my biggest cactus that I have. And this one down here, this one down here is a euphorbia. I'm sure many of you know that this is a euphorbia medusas. So this is a really pretty, gorgeous, huge medusa. If you see little dead sticks like this, you can take them off. And um, of course, everything's kind of coming into bloom and coming back alive, so. Right here is my bear's paw, and it's a cotyledon, cotyledon, I'm sorry, cotyledon, bear's paw. So cute, wonderful. It's always a, a hoot. This one's one of my biggest gasteria flows. It's gorgeous. It made a couple pups, and those pups are being propagated. So I, I think it's beautiful. And it's, this one is, these two actually are really great indoor plants. We're going to look. go ahead and look at some of my collection. These are my split rock plants. This is the royal flesh. And these are split rocks, or some people call them butt plants, uh, living stones. So there's many names for them. But all of these, and as you can tell, they're splitting. It's getting into the warmer season. These are splitting. These are splitting. And this is also a type of, um, oh gosh, it's also a type of that um, type, but I, I'll, I'll put it into the description. And these are all some of my, okay, all right. Right here is my Latensia, Sedevaria Latensia, I believe, and they're growing. These are my propagated, some of my propagated string of bananas, and these are my beautiful, um, uh, I'm blinking right now, <laughs> but they're, they're very beautiful, and 
These are, of course, my Sedum's donkey's tail. They're loving this basket, like really loving it. Moon glow. Stomatium tiger jaw. I just watered those. Chain plant. It's really fun just to do this. And then, of course, my beautiful Haworthia zebra is blooming. And it just threw off another pup right there. It's kind of cool. I just watered this one. It's my aloe, one of my aloes, and it's blooming as well. One of my Crassula perforatas. I, I'm sure I've shown you guys those before. And this is also an, another form of like a chain plant. Beautiful purple and green. Ruby slippers. All right, and let's go move over here. And we have some more different plants that I'm, that I have here. And Crassula petrus and Repestris and Horthias, Jades, Mammalarias, that's a powder puff, uh, Adromiscus cooperi, Plover eggs, this is a um, Bishop's, Bishop's hat, cacti, and some more Horthias, gorgeous ones, and the pinecone cactus, and that's a peanut, I believe peanut, cactus right there some beautiful um, some beautiful ghost ghosties tiny ones that's my dancing bones cactus right here and my this is my absolute favorite type of pot I love these weird looking pots they kind of remind me of um, uh, Tim Burton and I love Tim Burton so it's like the blob house makes these pots just amazing I love them and I have two pots and as you can tell I'm propagating babies in there and these are doing great um, we have some other crassulas up there and guest areas as well all right so you saw my plants downstairs but now you're going to be seeing my plants upstairs. Come along. Here we are. This was the office. This was where I was studying for school. But now this is my plant room. I have a lot of plants in here and I hope you're excited to see them. All right. So we discovered something amazing. Let's go. So in here is my plant tent. We have all sorts of goodies in here. We have beautiful calancholy, Marner's calancholy, more ghost plants, beautiful different types. We have raindrops. We have the, um, lovely rose we have actually a really cool crested ghost plant we have more oh this is one of my favorites right here echeveria chihuahuan chihuahuan chihuahuansis and we have graptiveria debbie opalina of course you can't have a succulent collection without um my gosh pvn Pearl von Nornberg. Back here, I don't know if you can see, we have a set of varia. We have more um, crassulas back there. We have gorgeous, a gorgeous bluebird right here. It's a gorgeous bluebird. And we have, um, in the corner we had also our super bum. Down here we have some gorgeous propagating um, ghost plants, set of areas, some set of areas. We also have um, some more crassulas and the, I don't even know what this called, but this, this smells not too good. And dusty rose, we have an agavoides right there. 
um, sedum rubitinctum, some more beautiful things down there. All of these down here, propagations and different crasslas and it's really, really fun. We have some propagating, believe it or not, uh, bulbs. Mother of thousands right there. And just remember, this is, you know, the the winter, so it's not, they don't have all the vibrant colors, but they do have some, I do have some beautiful ones. We have some crassulas, buttons, and different echeverias, uh, crassula mermaid, and uh, lilac mist. We have a Lola over there, uh, nodulosa, we have polydinus, pecophyllum, Senecio radicans, which is the bananas. We have some big ones down here. Don't really know exactly what they're called, but some big ones. Hagavoides. We have some pancakes. We have further down here is a mother of thousands, of course. And if you look down there, those are my propagations of different aloes. Those are my super bums. That is my Fred Ives. I'm doing an experiment with those. That is my aloe, oh, oh my gosh, I'm blinking. The aloe I got at Waterwise Botanicals. Blue cactus, we have some bunny ears down there. Naga agave, artichoke, echeveria fire glow. We have some propagations right there. More propagations. Ghost plants. Propagations of ghost plants and uh, Pearl von Nuremberg. All of those as well. Got some little gems there. Propagations of some pebbles. Let's take a look at my station. This is behind the scenes, everybody. So we have propagating over here a jade plant. This is a crinkle jade. Not sure how well <clears throat> it's gonna be doing, but we have some string of bananas. No, 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 no. String of dolphins. These. I propagated on my own string of dolphins. This was my first propagation that I ever did with the string of bananas. And if I may say so, they are doing well. These are my propagating of also string of dolphins. And of course I just did these. So you need to keep them a little bit moist. We have a sizzle frizzle right here that is blooming. I kind of think this one's done, <laughs> obviously. But, and then we have this star, uh, the starfish plant. Before we are thing, I will. <laughs> and we have all sorts of different ones. We have a variegated um, bear's paw right here. And I am propagating some pearls. I thought this was really cute. I put the mother of thousands in, in this porky vine. And then we have some propagations here of different plants. 
We have butt plants here. And this is my really cool magnifying glass that you put the light on and you can see really neat, really close up. Yeah, it's really cool. So that's about it, guys. I'm, I just feel like I wanted to share this with you because this is the one of the loves of my life and I really enjoy collecting and gardening and oh, there is something interesting that I did want to show you. Right here. Now, we will talk about this. Yes, we will. So this little gal right here, let's talk about it. It was gorgeous a month ago. And then something happened. I happened. I was thinking that, oh, you know, my husband got this for me for Valentine's Day. I wanted to make it, you know, um, I wanted to clean it up. I wanted to put new dirt in it. La, 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 la. Next thing I know, bacteria of some sort got into the leaves or the roots. After I washed it outside in the cold water under the uh, faucet, the hose, and it was uh, not only one, about one day later, it wilted and it started doing this. Creating all this bacteria looking stuff. So I told myself and I told my husband I was gonna throw it away. I was like, no, there's no way I'm going to keep this thing because it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna produce anything else because I just chopped it. I chopped it, chopped it. Come to find out, my surprise, I decided to give it another chance to maybe somehow bloom. And from the lights that I have up here, I have a spider farmer and I have a uh, Viva, Viva Sun uh, light and both of them do just great. Underneath all my plants do all wonderful under them. But I put this right here so it still gets indirect kind of light and believe it or not, if you come closer, little plantlets are growing all over the stems. So it's really, really, really exciting to see that life still happens after you know you you mess up so I think that's a lesson for all of us is that you know even if you know you think that you can be thrown away or if something in your life is just no good and all this stuff um, just remember that life could happen again so good things can happen again and blossom in your life so this is a testament if aeoniums can do it we can do it too and i really hope you have a beautiful evening and i'm grateful for you to be watching this i hope you enjoyed please stop by again subscribe like or comment and thank you so very much